Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So this video is actually going to be a quick one, which has to do with showing how you can get the HDRI backdrop directly here in Unreal Engine. So I've gotten a couple of mails following the updates. So the questions are, how can you actually get this to work? So how you get this to work is first and foremost, you need to go over to the plugin where you should be able to activate this. So if you come over to the plugin, just simply type here. So you don't need to scroll all the way down HDRI and you're going to see the backdrop. So just simply enable this. It will ask you to restart on real engine before you can get it to work. So right now you can see it from here and I'm just going to click on restart now and it's going to take a few seconds. So once it's done, you'll be able to now find this directly here. So just a quick way of how you can work with this. We have a very, very simple scene. Basically you get to find the scene, you know, once you open your Unreal engine. So we have this simple scene here and we're going to use this as an example for those who would like to know how this works. And if you're wondering how the navigation is, it's very close to that of twin motion, just in case you're working with twin motion and you're just wondering. All right, so what we're going to do, let me just go through and just create a brand new stuff and call this HDRI so we can test out some other ones. So all you need to do is just drag this, drop this, and you can see automatically, you can see, okay, so I'm taking this out, take a good look, all right, just take a good look at how the object in our scene is going to respond to the HDR. So take this and you can see it responds automatically. You can see the whole reflection, all of those things, they respond automatically. Really, really cool stuff. Okay, so with this there, I'm just going to go ahead and select this and press F on our keyboard so that that would be our pivot. All right, so with this there, I can go ahead and select this one and simply press H on the keyboard to hide this. And I can go through, uh, pick up this and actually position this down a bit. So let's go ahead and position this down up to that point so you can see that. Okay, so I think it's a bit too low. Okay, so you can see this right now. Okay, so if I go through and just simply shake this a bit, you can also notice that we're having the shadows. For some reason, I get to move this before I can actually see the shadow. So just in case you're not seeing that, this is how you can go ahead and play with it. Next up is how can you change the HDR? So just in case you're wondering, of course, you should go ahead and build this later when you're done. But just in case you're wondering, you can change it to whatever thing that you want. So I think that might be a bit too low. All right. So you can always, always change this to whatever thing that you want and you can see that we're having these changes across the board directly here. Other questions you might be asking is what if you want to add yours? So how you can add yours is very, very simple. All you need to do is just simply go ahead. All right. So I have this HDRI here and I have some HDRI, about two of them that I downloaded from the HDRI heaven. So if you want to download HDRI, there is a whole lot of you know, places you can find these things. Link to where you can find free stuff is going to be in the description. So these ones are from HDRI Heaven. So what we can do is we can just simply click this. All right. So I'm just going to scroll over here, get this. I can click this and I can just replace this automatically. So you can see that there you can increase, you can play with the intensity depending on where you want to get. And I can also just simply drop this directly there. And it's very cool to note how quick this is. All right. So I think the era of, you know, uh, you trying to make sure that things actually work out real cool for you. I think that era is beginning to disappear with the rise of things like this. I definitely think that a whole lot more people would, you know, stick to working with tools like this than you know, getting their stuff rendered or taking longer time to render this stuff. So this is how you can work with this. When you're done, you can simply go ahead and build this. Let's hide this. So when you're done, you can simply go ahead and rebuild your lights, rebuild everything that you want to work with. And that's going to be about it. So with a visual feedback like this, it's very, very uh, impressive to see that you know, we've gone from that era where we have to sit down and wait timelessly to you know get a render done 
to a period where you just have to attach a backdrop and you know with the hdri you can illuminate an entire scene and you can just get that render working for you so i would like to see you guys try this in your games try this in your next rendering in your next presentation and tell me what you think about this if you want to make any of the adjustments you can make all of those adjustments from here so anything that you want to make you can make the adjustments from here if you want to edit the backdrop you can go over and edit the backdrop directly from here depending on what you want to achieve depending on what you want to do at the end of the day and that's going to be about it if you like this video or you learned something from it go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to turn on the notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video or the next tutorial and until i see you guys again with an update tutorial free friday tutorial tuesday tips or tricks things like this. Peace.